Warning, this podcast contains a very awkward dinner. For real, though. What's up, everyone, and welcome to the SC.TV podcast for Pretty Little Liars, Season 6, Episode 12, Charlotte's Web. I'm your host, Dom. With me, my co-host, April. Hey! How's it going? Wonderful. 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 So, uh, Charlotte's Web. Felt like I should have read the book before watching this episode. (laughs) I've read the book. I was one step ahead of you. Did you? (laughs) You read the book, like, recently? No, God, oh, no. okay. Well, I was going to say, Come I read it now. forever ago. <laughs> well, that still counts. Yeah, I guess. I, I just feel like I should have read it recently to, like, make comparisons to why why they decided to... Maybe maybe all it was was a play on the the name. Yeah, I think... I, I Honestly, I think that's what it was. Yeah. Um, Something special. Yeah, yeah. Not really. Uh, so we we get a lot of inf- interesting information. We... we Right off the bat, like, when the girls are all sitting around, you know, um, Hannah is talking about Jordan again. And we were, like, mm-hmm. last last week we were trying to, like, think, like, what was his name? Like, it was mentioned very briefly. This time right. it was, like, forefront. They're like, Jordan, they said it, like, three times within the first five minutes to, like, drill it into your head. And then... <laughs> they didn't uh, want us to forget. <laughs> yeah. And then we got to meet him. So... Yes. What did what'd you think of Jordan? I mean, I guess he's her type. Yeah. I mean, not not based off of Caleb, obviously. Right, right. But he's the typical, you know, pretty blonde girl type, hmm. <laughs> I guess. I mean... And he loves food. And we all know Hefty Hannah, you know, so... Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're oh. so mean. Why, why are you going to bring that up? Hannah is my favorite, <laughs> so I can pick on her. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll, let you, I'll let you pick on her. I, I do love Hannah, so... Yeah. But no, I mean... He's he's really sweet. Um, mm-hmm. From what we've seen, he's really sweet. I mean, there could be more. He could not be so sweet, but you know, from what we saw this episode, everybody's got a dark side, right? Good. Well, I mean, if they don't, that's not fun. No, not at all. <laughs> not even a little bit. No. So, while the girls are talking, um, Spencer confronts Arya. Yes. And I literally jumped up out of my chair and went, suck it, April. <laughs> oh, my God. Your butt. She's I knew just like, I had a she feeling lied that... about it, you know? It's like, what? Yeah. But I had a feeling that it had to do with Ezra. Before she even came out and said that, you know, oh, I was with Ezra, blah, 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 explained it all. I had a feeling it was him. I had a feeling she was covering it up. She added the new boyfriend. You know, you don't want to be rolling around well roaming around not rolling <laughs> we, don't, we, we don't know if she was rolling around we, we know mean, she was roaming she could have she, she could, could have been <laughs> but i mean you don't want to have that out in the open like three o'clock in the morning that's just kind of shady even if you are supposed to be publishing his book i'm sure your boyfriend's not the new boy is not gonna like that and he is yeah. i don't like the new boy i'm not sorry Liam? no 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 it's in liam like in one direction he or something Ezra. <laughs> Liam's yeah. in he's in One Direction, right? You're asking the wrong person. I think so. Maybe I don't know. I think that's one of the names. And there's like yeah. a, a Nigel. Sorry, One Direction fans. There's a Nigel and there's a Zane. That's that's as much. I know as there's I know. a Zane. I knew that. I, I don't think there's a Zane anymore, but yeah, I don't oh. even know. Is the band still around? That's... I don't yeah, know either. No, no, not a clue. Nope. <laughs> Um, yeah, but then we, like, so when we meet Liam, we don't realize that that's her boyfriend. Right. It's like, oh, secret work relationship, which is a big no-no in jobs like that. I caught on pretty quick, obviously, Mm -hmm. but, um, I, you know, I'm not, not a fan. I mean, maybe he's really nice, maybe he's sweet, but she can do better. Yeah. Yeah. Ezra. Team Ezra. Team Ezra. (laughs) I, I love I've Ezra. declared it officially. Ezra, Ezra is my my favorite male character on this show. He's he's the best. Hannah's my favorite female. Ezra's my favorite male. Um, yeah, but uh, 
they start talking and we they they say like oh Schilling is not happy with Ezra being back in town and all and I'm like wait what 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 is going on I'm like trying to figure that then they get called into Schilling's office and we realize that Schilling is Ezra's book publisher yes and we're like oh okay that makes sense so Ezra wants the wants to give the deposit back she says hell no yeah doesn't want to she wants to have uh, what's his face do his book Liam right. Yeah. Take over for Arya. Yeah. And I think that's just like looking for trouble. Yeah. Yeah, that that's gonna be not so good if that happens. So I'm sorry. Liam starts coming to like Arya's defense and is like, right? oh no, it wasn't her fault and then that she you could see Schilling's just like What? You know, so yeah. Arya's like, I think you she knows. You can take this over. Yeah. I think she knows about the two of them. And it's just like, well, I mean, because most publishers are, I mean, at each other's throats fighting for the work and the the job and to have the better opportunity, I guess. So to just like pass it up, you're just making it obvious or to to even try to defend somebody so you don't get it. You're you're beyond obvious. Come on, kid. Grow up. (laughs) Yep. But anyway, Arya convinces, you know, one last chat to, to, um, Ezra, and when she goes to talk to him, it's just like, uh, um, he's like, what is it, what, I don't know, like, what, he, he's like, I, I have this thing, it's written, Mm -hmm. but I don't know, he just leaves it there, uh, like a little thumb drive. Yeah, and, yeah, so she's got a read it i guess go through it they, mm-hmm. but he said that they're not gonna like it so i don't i don't know what do you i don't, I don't know. know she didn't even open it she's too busy looking at all the other stuff that was on the thumb drive you know she's looking at you know ezra's missing girlfriend and like right. pictures i'm like can it's like i understand like it's like but oh, is she, that, you know, she's investigating is, it but it's like i want to see the book <laughs> but is that like part of the book it could be which was what I was thinking, you know, he just had only what he had for the book, I guess, you know, a mm-hmm. certain thumb drive that he, everything he was putting into the book was on. So I'm thinking he just kind of like got preoccupied by trying to find her and didn't really write anything. It could be. I mean, maybe he did. Maybe there's a book. Well, and if there is, I'm, I think said, that'd be interesting. He said what he's got of it. And he said, you won't like it. But I feel like there's a there's a hefty amount because she's like, well, you know, first draft isn't bad, you know, whatever. So I don't know. I'm interested to see what the topic on if it's if it's about his girlfriend or the situation down there in the the Habitat for Humanity right. you know, area, um, or if it's um, like a, it could be a, a follow up on Charlotte. Right. It could. I mean, I don't know. I guess. What was his first book about? There's a lot of opportunities. Do we even know what the first book was about? Um, (laughs) uh, (laughs) no. I thought, I thought it was about Alice. That's, that's what he was writing, um, when we last saw him, but it never was published, so I don't know if he wrote something else in the meantime, or if that was the Allison book. The one that was published. Yeah, I'm gonna assume it's the Allison book until we hear further. Otherwise, Yeah. Yeah. So, a follow-up to that, if it's about the girls, could be a problem. That's why yeah. Arya may not like it. If it's about Charlotte, you know, it's gonna the girls are going to be involved in that, too, which may be why she doesn't like it. So, I'm leaning right. it's more in that direction, but, you know. Okay. We'll see. I'm sure we'll find out eventually. We always yep. do, unless it's about something that really intrigues you. Yeah, like the uh, the barrel. Yeah, you know, I got to bring all that stuff up once in a while. Just remind you. Mm -hmm. Or the dog. Or the lacrosse stick. I was just going to say the lacrosse stick. (laughs) The the lacrosse stick still bothers me more than anything else. I don't even care about the dog or the the barrel anymore. No. No. Not of importance. No. Uh, See, I want to go back now. Like I've been saying for how long? I want to go back and watch, what was it, season two? Where the lacrosse stick was like very important. Yeah try to figure out what the hell happened to it but You're i don't never know figure it out no never <laughs> um while all that was going on with aria running back and forth and leaving and, and stuff 
stuff starts coming to light about, you know, all oh, Arya did this and that and that. And the girls go investigate the security footage and realize she left. She was missing during the hours. Right. You know, all this stuff. And they're like, do we delete the tape? Do we keep the tape? They're like, we're not, you know, it. in... Well, they're like, we're not in, in high school anymore. You know, I'm not deleting it. So they don't delete it. And they go but confront they Arya. Well, they they left it first. Then they went and confronted well, yeah, Arya. Yeah. Until and then she told them. When she told the story, they, you know, they bought it. Whether that's 100% truth or not, I feel I like she fudged some details. No way. I, I, give her, I give her about 75% truth and about 25% fudge. False. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. You're false. No. <laughs> she, was, she was truthful. I don't believe it. She, I this, do. This I show think... is called Pretty Little Liars. I know, but You she can't was tell lying. me she's telling the truth. <laughs> you cannot convince me. at first about not seeing him, and then she came forward and was like, oh, hey, and she was telling the truth this time. Mm-mm. I can guarantee it. Mm-hmm. Nope. Yep. No. I believe Arya. <laughs> no. Arya is guilty. Team Arya. <laughs> Arya's got two A's in her name. I don't care. That doesn't make her A. <laughs> De- definitely. has got two A's in her name. <laughs> yeah, but they're too far away from each other. No, that doesn't count. That doesn't... No, that can't work in your favor like that. <laughs> they're the same distance no. as Arya. <laughs> <laughs> Are they really? <laughs> A-R-I-A-H-A-N-N-A. A, yeah. There's... Okay, so, you know... <laughs> Hannah seems like less because it's the same letter, so we get to omit one. Okay. No. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. Nope. no, but, um, yeah, so the, she confronts, she tells the whole story. It's like, okay, well, they went here, they drove to this place, they got out, and they saw Charlotte enter a building. The right. building looked like the church. Is that is that where she entered? Yeah, that's what I thought, at least. Okay. So we're definitely so. on the same page with that. Yes, that's exactly what I thought it was. And, and then... She went in by herself on her own free will. Yes. I think she was going to meet somebody. Right. Obviously. You don't just get out of, what like, rehab or prison or whatever the hell she was in and just go to the church in the middle of the night by yourself without right. having... Whose car did they say that was pulling up? Was that Allison's car? Yeah, I thought they okay. said it was Allison's. Yeah, so... That's that makes sense because Allison was quote unquote sleeping. Right. She and, didn't know her sister took her car. Yeah. And so her sister takes the car, we see her get out of it. Almost looked like she got out of the passenger side though. Oh, I didn't even I don't know. know. I wasn't paying too much attention, but I feel like she got out. Yeah, I was the kind passenger of getting ready side. for work when I watched it. Yeah. <laughs> so I didn't pick up on that, not gonna lie. Yeah, I could be wrong, but that that's just the way I, I still feel. have it on my D V R, I can look later. Yeah. Um so, but we know her neck was snapped before she fell. So right. it had to have been snapped in the church. Mm-hmm. And then brought up to the bell tower and then thrown out. Or snapped up at the bell tower, then thrown out. Right. And all this time, there's one person we haven't been questioning. Allison? Yeah. I, I can't see Allison doing it. No. No, because, I mean, she really believed in her sister. She wanted to get to know her and spend time with her, like, as her sister and not as Cece, you know, this fun party friend. I just, I mean, technically, I guess Allison's a a little liar, obviously. Pretty little liars. But she's, I think she's too, too close. That Like, she's already lost her mom. We don't even know what's going on with her dad. Her brother doesn't want anything to do with her because of this. You know, her sticking by Charlotte's side. Just don't see her. Hmm. I don't know. I don't want to rule anybody out. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I see where you're coming from. Because something could have happened when on her road to recovery that really pissed off, you know, um, really pissed her off. And, and then she waited for her to get out because Allison was the one that wanted her out the most. Right. Right, so, yeah. and then as soon as she gets out, the day she gets out, the only person that she's with. See, my mind went to Mona. Awesome. I'm still, I'm still wondering about Mona. Yeah, I don't know where she was that night. Um, but then, then there's you know Ezra because the whole the whole reason Ezra showed up to the hotel in the first place is I guess her and Arya were him and Arya were talking, and Arya said she couldn't sleep. Mm-hmm. 
so that's why he came by. I don't know if that had anything to do with Arya was trying to discuss the book with him and... I mean, you know. the way that they show him freaking out next episode, I almost think that he may have had something to do with it. Just mm. See, I don't think like, it's something we're going to find out really soon, though. Like, this oh, feels no, like something not. that's going to happen, like, next season or something. It's going to play itself out for a while. So, uh, the big concern that uh, Spencer has is she's like, I basically told Ezra how to do it. And everybody's like, what? So we find yep. out that Spencer she had written a, a criminology paper. Yep. Right? And that's how she was murdered is it's the exact how same way. she wrote it. Yeah. Yeah. And of course that would be what happens because it's a perfect way to frame somebody. A hundred percent. And then, you know, he's one of the people who had access to it. But then again, whoever usually messes with them has access to everything regardless so. right and it's oh it, but the other you can't thing just with, automatically assume it's ezra right the other thing with the show is the person that it's that, like they point all the fingers at and is the one to blame is mm -hmm. usually not the one not the one yeah the most know. obvious choice is never who it actually is right unless that we're so conditioned to think that that they can get away with that at this point which they technically could <laughs> yeah they really could they, you know they can mind fuck us all. Yeah. Um, so Spencer's worried she's a liability to her mother's campaign now. Yeah. You know, I, so... I feel like she's, like, nervous with all of that because, I mean, this is all happening again. And before, it was, you know, obviously not that great. It was hard for her mom. Yeah. As a lawyer. Yep. And we see Caleb come in to, to save the day, you know. They're dating. If they're not dating, they they have, like, some connection that they don't know about. Like, you know, there's something going on. Something happened when they were in Europe. I, I was yelling at my, my computer monitor when I was watching. I was like, just fucking kiss her, Eddie. Just give us confirmation right. that you're dating. Like Right? Like, something happened in Europe. They, maybe they, they've just been spending time together and they haven't, like, officially made it anything. And maybe they haven't done anything else. But something is there. There, mm -hmm. There's a definite, definite chemistry spark, and I think that's going to be something that's going to piss Emily off. Yeah. Or Hannah. Or Hannah, sorry, yeah, yeah. Not Emily. Yeah. It's my bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, that's going to piss her off. Yeah. There was that uh, really awkward dinner. Oh, I would have I would have called quitsies like five minutes in. I would have been like, oh, man, I got some really bad cramps. I need to go home. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I mean, Jordan, Jordan's there. Jordan, like, she's worried about Jordan and uh, Caleb meeting and, you know, all that. And then Jordan's like, hey, why don't you come out to the car and help me carry this stuff in? And Right? Like, it's... It's like he's oh. intentionally, after he just discussed with Hannah that she was worried. Right. And he's now going out of his way to, like, put the two of them alone together. And I, if like, I understand he's like friendly and he wants to be like buddy buddy and that's probably right. the direction he's going with it. But, but still. obviously Caleb's uncomfortable with the whole situation. You know, obviously uh, Hannah's like uncomfortable. Hannah's like, yeah. You know? So They're both uncomfortable. And I I get Jordan's trying to help the situation by making it like a but friendly thing, but it's it's making it worse. Right. Yeah. You know, no, and then it's not helping. And then, you know, Jordan's like, oh, help me set the table. And they're talking about, you know, they're putting the leaf in the table and they're, um, they're talking and he realizes, oh, the dining room table we have at home is uh, yours. Mm -hmm. And then you see when, when uh, um, Spencer relieves Caleb of his duty and I'm just like, oh, that was more confirmation. I'm like, there's something like she's looking out for him like this. Right. You yeah. know, it's like she sent him, she relieved him. It's like she knew exactly and then what was Caleb going on. Goes to go talk to Hannah. Yeah. And then he, at, he says something about her still having the table. Right. And she's like, of course I kept it. So it's just like, a, there's clearly still something there between them. Right. Which yeah. if, if that's that could the play case, out that might be why very awkwardly if something is going on with him right and that might spencer. be that might be the reservation why he hasn't done anything with spencer because he was worried right. about you know him yeah and, him that, and that's gonna be very awkward anyways even if there's no feelings for hannah anymore there was a lot of history there to right. be one of the best friends and go after that that's that's real messed up yeah i'm sorry that that Spencer's got no girl code. 
No. But at the same time, Hannah's with someone else. You know, yeah, so. Yeah, but you still talk to your best friend before you do that. I'm sorry. I guess. That's, I guess. that's a I, lot of history. It is. It is a lot of history, but it's also very difficult. And especially when the girls separated. Because you look at it this way the girls separated, right? Yeah. They weren't talking. They, every, everything that happened with them was really traumatic, right? So yeah, they, they all that. separated. They went their own ways. And then Spencer and uh, Caleb just found each other by accident in Madrid. So they're like, hey, hey, let's hang out and like do some stuff together. Right. Things kind of progressed, you know, accidentally, just genuinely. Weren't I mean, I get it. it. I get it, but you still should have that talk and not have it. It's, it's you know? difficult at that point. It's like, hey, we've done all Let's this do stuff. After we've Let's done all do this, that. now <laughs> let's talk about it. I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, but it's going to be even weirder to find out the way she's going to find out. I guess. I don't know. There's no good way to go about it. No. So that's I what get, it comes yeah, down to. I see There's where you're coming no from. There's no good way to go about it. No. So. I'm convinced that they're, they're together, though. Yeah, I think they are. And if they're not, there's a definite want from both ends for them to be together. Yep. Watch the episode 100%. that they reveal that, that Caleb and Spencer are together. That's when Hannah and Caleb, uh, like, kiss or something. Yeah, that's what's going to happen. Yeah. Something weird like that. They got to they gotta add the drama in there. Of course. Um, the viewers interested. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I guess Emily had, uh, so what, what was she at the doctor? Was she getting like, um, I think she has cancer. Is it cancer? Yeah. She was at the cancer center. The person that she ran into that let her borrow that money. She saw them again and they brought up that, you know, right. I had cancer. Da, 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 da. I, I think, yeah, I think that's what she's being treated for. See, cause I was but originally I don't think thinking she's telling anybody. I was originally thinking she was going in for, um, drug treatment. Because we've seen her popping pills and stuff like that. But now that you mention that, that may be, you know. Why she has the pills. Yeah. So she may not be on a drug addiction, so to speak. No, I think she has cancer. And I think she's not telling anybody. That's Gosh. my prediction. I could be wrong. Yeah. No, I definitely see that now. Because the whole time I'm thinking she's she's going in for, like, drug treatment. You know, to, like, right. get off of whatever drug she's on. Yeah, when I saw her getting, like, in the treatment center, I knew, I didn't think it was drugs at all. Like, that's, a, a rehab is completely different. Mm. I know it would be different on TV. Obviously, they'd not make it completely the same, but I feel like they'd have to do it differently than they were. Like, she was definitely being administered medicine. Right. Yeah, and they said it works best if you do it all in the same place without traveling right. and stuff. like. So, yeah, that makes a lot more sense. So... She's like, no, it wouldn't be a problem, no. So, you know, that yeah, kind of gives gonna, Emily more that's reason. Come out. Yeah, it gives Emily more reason to stick around when all this blows over. You know, because Arya, having left, already, like, put a, a target on her back. Right. You because know, um, Allison was just she like. She wasn't supposed to. Yeah, Allison's just like, uh, n no, none of my friends could. And then Arya left and was really suspicious. And she left the day she's before. Like, Maybe. She's like, I think so, Lorenzo. And, yeah. yeah, they're gonna be looked into a lot more. Mm -hmm. But yeah, then they the, the girls end up deleting the tapes, which uh, is kind of suspicious. Kind of because you get the police to go in and they're like, "Oh, this, this one day just happens to be deleted," which suspicion in this case is better than having actual evidence, evidence. right? You know, in that regard. But if I was, were the girls, I would have deleted, like, every other day for, like, a week or two straight or delete an entire week, you know, just right. to, like, so think they... there was a malfunction somewhere. Yeah, I would have done the same thing. So. I would have smartened up about it a little bit. But yeah. at the same time, it's a TV show. They need to have some something that can come back on them, you know? I mean, at least they Keep didn't just kind delete. Of interesting. At least they didn't just delete, like, an hour of footage. You know, because right. that, that would be even terrible. More terrible, yeah, so. Yeah, that would suck. Yeah. Um, what about uh, running, uh, Emily seeing um, Sarah at her father's grave? Yeah. Well, we don't know what Sarah, what grave Sarah was at. We think that was Charlotte's grave, right? 
Um, I'm not quite sure. I didn't pick up on that. I just saw that she was in the graveyard and right, looked over while Emily was there. Charlotte does not have a, a headstone yet. Yep. We know that because of the very last scene. So Sarah very well could have just been visiting she could have. Um, Charlotte's gravesite uh, while Emily was, you know, visiting her dad. Still awkward. Yeah. Still made awkward. me feel uneasy the way she looked over. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't like her. Yeah, she's I mean, crazy. supposedly her hands are burned and she has no, she can't use a fork. Yeah. You know, and then she she claims to have Stockholm Syndrome, so that that gives her motive for, you know, the murder of, of Charlotte, but... Right. Um, and it kind of explains what the the uh, issues were, why she couldn't st uh, stand on trial. Right. Uh, th from last week's episode. So gave us answers to that, so at least that's, that's good. good. Um, but apparently she doesn't remember a lot of the everything that went on. Right. So. Yeah, I don't know. I still don't like her. Screw her. Mm hmm. That's how I'm feeling about Sarah. Yeah. And then the, <laughs> the very last scene. Right? We have somebody at a gravesite, Charlotte's oh, okay. gravesite. They drop <laughs> yeah. the flowers on the gravestone. They walk by Jessica De Laurentiis's grave. And they have a chauffeur open the back door for them in, in what I think was a limo. Okay. And said, I'm sorry for your loss, and opens the door. And the person gets I into the car. I am remembering this now. Yeah. At first, when you mentioned it, I'm like, what, what is he talking about? Yeah, like, so this is very back. very reminiscent to the old A scenes. Yes. You know, so, so now we're getting from the potential murderer's point of view, I think. Could be. I don't know. We don't. We don't really know based on, you know, how we were treated with the A flash, like the A things at the end of the last season. That it's you know the last right. five and a half seasons. You know that's the way I'm going to look at this. Um, yeah. It could be completely different. It could be just Jason or uh, Mr. De Laurentiis. Uh, it could be. They're keeping it very ambiguous, obviously, to get us talking. Right. Um, Which obviously is working. <laughs> yeah, so I don't think it's Sarah. Um, Sarah's the obvious choice because she was last seen in the, right. the, the she was cemetery. Right, there, but yeah. I don't think it was her either. So I guess I'm going to go with uh, Jason for the time being. Jason or Mr. De Laurentiis. Yeah. Those... But I don't know what happened to him, so. Do you, do you think there's a, a possibility there was a third kid? <laughs> you know, there could be. There, I mean, we never had that twin theory play out, and in the books, there's a twin. Mm -hmm. So, uh, technically, there there could be. And I mean, Jason there, could still have a twin. Right, and I mean, his parents have not been the most honest people. I mean, her father tried to keep... Um, I can't think of what his name was before Charlotte. Charlie. Mm -hmm. Tried to keep Charlie a secret. Like, he wasn't going to tell until all the evidence was kind of there. You know what I'm saying? Like, so why would he all of a sudden tell about another one if there was a possible other child out there? He's right. Because Jason is technically uh, Allison's half-brother, right? Yes. Because Jason is also technically Spencer's half-brother. Yes. Yes. It's uh, Allie's mom and Spence, Spencer's dad. Right. So I wonder if there was another kid that... There could be. Very, There very well could be. Mm. And that, again, would describe Jason's erratic behavior all throughout the beginning of the series. Technically, in season one, it was a completely different actor, too. So well, yeah. <laughs> they, they could just be like, Use yeah, him. yeah. I don't know. I guess we'll find out, right? Yeah, I guess Maybe. so. <laughs> uh, you have anything else for this episode? No, yeah. I think we pretty much covered it all. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, next week, the episode is called The Gloves Are On. Usually uh, the gloves come off. I mean, I guess they don't want to ruin their nail polish. <laughs> Touche. Maybe they spent a lot of money on that manicure. <laughs> they could have. <laughs> um, <laughs> Aria, Emily, Hannah, and Spencer find themselves back in familiar territories with the Rosewood PD knocking at the doors looking for answers and their actions. 
uh, are now affecting the loved ones around them. With her mother's job on the line, Hannah tries to come up with an alibi that could save all four of them with the help of her old high school friend, Lucas. Ooh. He's so, coming back. So their mother's job on the line, that's got to be the because of the Deleted. security cameras. Yep. 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 Uh, meanwhile, Emily comes clean about the last five years, and Arya goes the extra mile to keep Ezra's second book in play with her boss. Hmm. Maybe it'll start getting a little more interesting. <laughs> Seems like it. And not very tension-filled dinners, yeah. you know? Mm. I've I can't take another one of them. No? <laughs> they need to keep them separated. I agree. I agree. Don't <laughs> don't get rid of those flowers. Those are for Charlotte. <laughs> okay? Yeah, that, that was a bit awkward. Yeah. I'll yeah. just put them back. We could eat around them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They'll just stay here. Yeah. Uh, All right. Yeah. So, uh, that is our show. Um... April is invisible on social media. You can find me. <laughs> you can find me down below at Phenomenon, P H E N O M E D O M. Uh, and you can find all of us and more on Facebook, Gmail, G, Twitter, <coughs> Space, and right here on YouTube at slash ASO TV Podcast for some more podcasts for some of your favorite TV shows. Uh, Till next week. See you guys Peace later. Out. I really want like a nice awkward dinner sometime. Oh god, not me. No? I, I, I have enough awkwardness in my life. I, I don't need a dinner to <laughs> celebrate the awkwardness. I gotta try to like get in a fight with like 10 different people and then invite them all invite to Invite them all to dinner. No. You'd just be asking for trouble. And get all those 10 people to like hate each other at the same time. Like. Oh my god. That'd be the best dinner ever. No way. That'd be so horrible.